I'm Stephen Luke and this is your morning update for Tuesday, November 2nd. This morning, fire crews are still cleaning up after a two alarm fire in a strip mall in Kearney Mesa. Happened a little after 2 a.m. near convoy in Balboa. Thankfully, no one inside when it started. It was the middle of the night, but part of Balboa was shut down there for a while as firefighters responded, a lot of them. Arson investigators now taking over, trying to figure out exactly what happened here. They think the fire may have been started by some sort of merchandise at a vape shop. Today, the man who opened fire killing an employee at the church's chicken restaurant in the South Bay a few years back will be sentenced last month. Uh, I should say last month was when a jury found him guilty. Talking about Albert Lee Blake found him guilty of one count of murder, three counts of attempted murder for injuring three other workers. Now on to our local COVID numbers across San Diego County. County health officials reporting 455 new cases 14 new deaths and there's 283 people in the hospital right now, 77 of them in intensive care. The deadline for members of the military to get vaccinated is quickly approaching. 7% of Marines right now are not vaccinated. For the Army, it's 6%. Air Force and Space Force, 3.6%. The Navy has the best numbers in terms of vaccinations with 1%. Uh, not vaccinated. The Pentagon says today unit commanders will ultimately decide penalties for those who refuse to get vaccinated. Today, a CDC committee could approve Pfizer's vaccine for kids 5 to 11 years old. Now, if the committee and the CDC's director give the green light, shots could start within days. The Biden administration already sending 15 million doses out to doctor's offices, pharmacies and hospitals all across the country in preparation. The city of San Diego wants your feedback about the police department. They have a new survey. It's part of an effort from local leaders to gauge trust towards police and see whether people feel safe in their neighborhoods. The results are going to be posted online in just a few months. You can get more information right now by searching San Diego Police on our website, NBC7.com. And today you could grab coffee with local law enforcement down in the South Bay. The Chula Vista Police Department hosting coffee with a cop starts at 1 o'clock this afternoon at the Starbucks on 3rd Avenue in Chula Vista. Today, county leaders are expected to talk about creating a regional film office for San Diego. County Board of Supervisors Chair Nathan Fletcher says having a regional office would cut the red tape involved with the permitting process. He also thinks it would market San Diego as a destination for productions, which of course would boost the local economy by creating jobs and promoting tourism. Yesterday, he announced a formal policy to make it happen. The Breeders' Cup is just a few days away, but we already have an idea about who's expected to win the big race, at least the favorite here. The Breeders' Cup draw happened yesterday afternoon with Nick's Go being the favorite at 5-2 to two odds, uh, followed by Essential Quality at 3-1. to one. Races begin on Friday. And as always, we'll continue to bring you the latest news right here at NBC7.com, as well as on TV. And if you like podcasts, you can check out Today in San Diego. It's our daily podcast where we talk about the big headlines affecting San Diego. Hope you have a great Tuesday.